Tuna, before the postseason, just what do you take away from today? Um, I guess one thing is that I'm proud I made 32 starts. Uh, only my second time in my career. Coming off of an ankle surgery, I was pretty excited to just get to take the ball and post up every time. Um, as far as like today goes, um, I really didn't have a ton of my best stuff, but we found a way to go six. Um, you know, we allowed ourselves some time there in the early innings to kind of just figure out what was working. Um, so, yeah, give the team some length on a day we have a double header and we need some innings to cover, but um, definitely would like to sharpen some of the stuff up. You mentioned the durability. What do you think is the biggest key in you staying healthy throughout the year? Um, yeah, just consistent work all the way around. It takes kind of a whole village to, to have a healthy year from, like, the nutrition team and the, the strength coaches and the training staff and just kind of takes a lot of people to make it work. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I found a consistent routine a few years ago that I liked, cleaned up my delivery a little bit, stayed on top of all the drills that help with that um, and just rode that out. Kima, with the unique situation now with the five days off before the October 11th start of the division series, what is your plan for you? What's the plan? Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really know yet. I don't know when I'm going to line up to throw or anything like that. We haven't had those discussions yet. Um, but, yeah, I mean, if it's facing hitters or if it's just throwing, like, aggressive live BPs, um, you know, I know we'll have some, some hitters there to stand in and obviously catchers to, to work with us. So um, just try to stay sharp, stay in competition mode, um, just keep everything moving. What would it mean to you to get a postseason start the year you had? You, you're probably in line for it, and after everything you, you've been through, you're healthy, and you, you've been on some losing teams at Pittsburgh and last yeah. year at a wild card game. Yeah, it'd be it'd definitely be an honor. Um, yeah, I mean, coming here, getting to play for the Yankees, um, it's been a been pretty fun for me. Um, you know, when I got traded here, coming off of two injury injury years. Um, you know, I was kind of in a, a weird place with baseball and my, my relationship with the game and then showing up here and showing up to win every single time. Um, you know, that's been making me fall in love with baseball all over again. So if I get a postseason start, that would definitely be an honor. Certainly back to the, the five days off, I mean, I feel like you can make an argument either way in terms of it being beneficial for anything or like um, being more harmful because you don't, you never go five days without playing or anything. What, yeah. what do you think of that? I think it's going to help that we have a lot of veterans on our team just who know how they need to prepare and how you know their timing needs to be on the hitting side and the pitchers like what kind of aggression you need to throw your bullpens with and stuff. Um, you know, I think I really think that experience is going to help us. Um, these guys know how to prepare, um, regardless of the circumstance, they'll be ready.